Hello, today we are going to discuss about IT governments in COVID. As I've told you earlier, COVID is a framework created by ISACA, supporting toolset that allows managers to bridge a gap between control, requirements, technical issues, and business risks. It aims to research, develop, publish, and promote an authoritative, up-to-date, international set of generally accepted information technology control objectives. The need of IT governments is in many fields. You can see in security, keeping IT running, managing complexity, regulatory compliance, aligning IT with business. Organizations require a structured approach for managing these and other challenges. This will ensure that there are agreed objectives for IT, good management controls in place, and effective monitoring of performance to keep on track and avoid unexpected outcomes. The need of IT governments is, enterprise governments is a set of responsibilities and practices exercised by the board and executive management with a goal of providing strategic direction, ensuring the objectives are achieved, ascertaining the risks are managed appropriately, and verifying that the enterprise's resources are used responsibly. Enterprise governance is about conformance and performance. Conformance is adhering to legalization, internal policies, audit requirements, etc., and performance is improving profitability, efficiency, effectiveness, growth, etc. Enterprise governments and IT governments require a balance between conformance and performance goals directed by the board. The main areas focused by IT governments are strategic alignment, value delivery, resource management, risk management, and performance management. In strategic alignment, it focuses on ensuring the linkage of business and IT plans on defining, maintaining, and validating IT value proposition. Value delivery is about executing the value proposition throughout the delivery cycle, ensuring that IT delivers the promised benefits against the strategy, concentrating on optimizing costs and providing the incentric value of IT. Resource management is about the optimal investment in and the proper management of critical IT resources, applications, information, infrastructure, and people. Key issues relate to the optimization of knowledge and infrastructure. Risk management requires risk awareness by senior corporate officers, a clear understanding of the enterprise's appetite for risk, understanding of complaints requirements, transparency about the significant risks to the enterprise and embedding of the risks responsibilities in the organization. Performance management tracks and monitors strategy implementation, project completion, resource usage, process performance and service delivery using, for example, balanced source cards that translate strategy into action to achieve goals measurable beyond conventional accounting. To make an IT government implementation project successful, we need make IT governments a workable solution, able to deal with the challenge and pitfalls presented by IT, focus as much as improving performance and enabling competitive advantages as preventing problems, make IT governments a shared responsibility between the business and the IT service provider with the full commitment and direction of the board. Align IT governments within a wider enterprise government scheme. Boards and executive management need to extend enterprise governance to include IT, provide the necessary leadership and organizational structure, and insist on well-managed and properly controlled processes. The advantages of IT governments are enables mapping the IT goals to business goals and vice versa, better alignment based on a business focus, a view of what IT does that is understandable to management, clear ownership and responsibilities based on process orientation, general acceptability with third parties and regulations, shared understanding among all stakeholders based on a common language, fulfillment of the Costco requirements for the IT control environment.